one of the things I still can't quite get over about Scotland at this time of year, it's August, it's 9.15 p.m. at night, is still blue sky. Okay, there's very little natural lighting around here and it is bright, almost like daytime. Okay, you can tell it's the evening, but wow, great choice for time of year to have this sort of festival because it makes staying out into the night really easy when the sun sets at 10 p.m. Inside the National Museum of Scotland, I found Dolly the sheep, the first animal to be successfully cloned. Edinburgh is also home to places like George Heriot's school, the real-life inspiration for Hogwarts, as well as the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo, whose stadium was inspiration for Harry Potter's Quidditch Stadium. So I'm trying to get across to Blackfriars Street, but it seems to be blocked by a bunch of Ferraris. Uh, Today I've come down to the other end of the Royal Mile, close to the Scottish Parliament, to Canongate. Now I'm told that Canongate, back in its day, was responsible for about 25% of all the brewing down here in, in Scotland. And though I'm a big fan of museums, I've not come here for the Museum of Edinburgh. I'm in fact here for the Canongate Kirk graveyard to see where a very famous Scotsman is buried. So the grave I'm looking for is that of father of economics and famous Scottish philosopher Adam Smith. Of all of the graves that you see here, there's only one that's locked up and that is his, just over here with a padlock. And over here is where Adam Smith, author of The Wealth of Nations, father of economics, a subject that I love and teach as a teacher, is now buried here in Edinburgh, Scotland. Something about Edinburgh I didn't really appreciate until I got here is that although it's quite a compact city, it's also built on a number of hills with bridges between them like this one. And so below, it's actually quite far down. I don't know if you can quite see or appreciate how far up we are. It's at least six, maybe 10 floors up. Uh, and this, this bridge actually goes over what used to be a river, which is what the rail line goes through. So in the old city in particular, you've got high streets and low streets. And although they intersect on the map, you can't actually get from one to the other unless you go up or down the hill. 